Hey guys, I'm uh, starting on my QAVX clone build here, and I know that a lot of you guys have been asking about this, and sorry I've been taking so long. Uh, I've already sort of got started here, I just wanted to uh, catch you guys up on what's going on. I'm cheating a little bit, I'm actually stealing the brains from uh, another quad that I built. It was the Lantian uh, 215, and uh, that was a while back, and I, I I just wanted to have these 30 amp ESCs along with the um, OSD with the uh, current sensor from the uh, B rotor flight controller, and it comes with a special PDB. Uh, I think this frame is going to be a lot of fun. I'm going to try a bunch of different motors on it, and I want to to get the OSD for the um, current sensor and voltage. So anyway, um, got started on here. The first thing I do is put these little. Um, uh, nylon standoffs in here and you get some screws on the bottom and um, something you should do is put some electrical tape here where the battery strap is going to go so that because uh, uh, that's pretty sharp carbon right there it actually probably should also file that down I'm a little lazy and I'm not going to do that uh, this electrical tape will probably be fine um, if that if there's a crash hard enough to break the battery strap because it goes through the electrical tape that's a pretty bad crash, so I'm willing to live with that. Anyway, that's a little tip there for you guys if you want to save your battery straps from being cut up by any sharp edges of uh, carbon fiber frames. Just put some electrical tape around it and it'll, it'll be fine. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and mount all this stuff in here and uh, show you what that looks like, and I'll be right back. Okay guys, I've got the uh, flight controller and PDB mounted. It's not really a whole lot to it. It's already been all soldered together already. The ESCs are already connected. Obviously I detached the motors and I put some different motors on. Now the challenge is going to be to get the camera in here, uh, VTX and receiver. There's a lot of uh, components left to be put in here and, and a lot of space. So uh, yeah, I'm going to try and do that and I'll try and show you how I crammed everything in here. Uh, probably might have to make some modifications, so I'll, I'll let you know as that happens. Be right back. Okay, so I got the um, standoffs installed here, these four standoffs, and uh, this uh, camera mount here for the HD, or I'm sorry, the FPV camera is going to go right here. And uh, I put my X4 SB for now, I'm going to put it over here on top of the flight controller, and it's connected right there. And then the video transmitter is going to go in this space right here. So, uh, see if I can't get all that to fit. Looks like I might be able to. Be right back. Okay, guys, I have most of the stuff connected and pretty much in the proper places. It's uh, quite a lot of fiddling around to uh, manage the wires. And if you are building this, you're going to have to be really creative in where you put the wires and stuff. For example, I ran the D4, or I'm sorry, the X4 uh, SB antennas underneath and out the back over here. And I'm going to have the camera over here. This is the top plate and camera holder all together. Um, be aware that this standoff here is about a millimeter or two shorter than the uh, ones over here that are uh, on the body. So uh, try not to get that mixed up because then uh, this thing does not go together. Uh, it took me a while to figure that out. So letting just letting you guys know, um, basically you had to kind of put this together like a little jigsaw puzzle. Uh, there's little two tabs over here on these side plates going to there, and then you screw in the um, this little piece here, and then screw in this uh, standoff, and then now it's ready to uh, go in here. And of course, I got to screw in my. Uh, camera first, so I'm gonna do that and I'll be right back. Okay, guys, we're heading on the home stretch, almost done. Uh, getting the stuff in here was tricky, uh, but as you can see, it's definitely doable. I put a zip tie there around the flight controller and PDB and all the wires that are on top because I didn't want them to come out inadvertently and get chopped up by the props. I put a zip tie back here to secure the video transmitter. It's, uh, there you go. 
and uh, that's it's holding pretty good. Now the uh, FPV camera, which this is a this is a Runcam Eagle. Uh, this will probably apply for HS1177 or Swift or something of this type of this form factor. Because of all the cables back here, the camera tilt, that's the maximum that it can go down, which is, I think that's about 30 degrees. And of course you can take it all the way up, which is about 45, 50 degrees. So it's pretty reasonable. I think this is definitely viable. Um, if you're a beginner, this is probably going to be a little bit too much, so I wouldn't recommend this frame if you're a beginner. So at this point all I got left to do is to secure my ESCs and put on my motors, solder them on. And uh, it's going to be these guys, the uh, Racer Star RS2205 2700 KV. These guys should be pretty fast so get those on there and I'll be right back. Okay guys I'm all done. Got the motors mounted. Pretty easy, just mount the motors, cut the wires, solder on three wires there, times four. This is what it looks like, I got a battery in there underneath. It's going to sit up like that. And uh, yeah, she's ready to fly. So um, that'll be the end of this little build video. I'll uh, get this up in the air pretty soon. Look for a video pretty soon for that. Let me know if you guys have any questions about the build. Um, Mostly getting this stuff in here is the hardest part. So, anyway, hope you liked this video. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. I'll talk to you guys in the next one.